yourself. Please introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Dominique Herold. I'm a German master florist. I'm based in Berlin. Um, actually, I grew up in a flower shop, so I do this for more than 30 years, actually. And yeah, that's my husband. Yeah, right. Uh, husband and wife, we married recently. I'm Jürgen Herold. Uh, I'm also a freelance florist based in Berlin. And uh, well, I've been a German champion. 2012 and I participated in the World Cup 2015, uh, did a few other things and I'm quite busy now with uh, fair work, fair related work, uh, teaching in China for example, but also all over Europe and uh, well, yeah, that's what keeps me busy. He likes talking. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, when do you start your the floral industry, this kind of work? Yeah, actually, just what I told you, um, I grew up in a flower shop, I did my apprenticeship in my mother's shop and I've been there I think until my 21st um, year, until I became 21st, then I did master school at Peter Asman and um, since 2014 I'm um, self-employed and freelancer. Wow, so now your history is how long? Maybe 20 more, 20 years more, your history. Yeah, so well, my, my history actually is, yeah, I know flowers all my life. Yeah. And my, if they so? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. I had my little baby bed in my mother's shop. Wow. <laughs> yeah. In your blog, from your blog. Okay. <laughs> How about the yogurt? Well, um, I, my father was a baker and uh, we have actually, he was the one um, celebrating the 100th birthday of the, of the company, of the bakery, but um, nobody in the family wanted to, to take over the place and I also did not want to do it, uh, but he was uh, totally okay with that because he was forced to be a baker and he just told me, uh, whatever you want to do, it's okay with me, if it's not baker, it's fine, but do a good job. So, do you have some motivation to the start for the florist to work? No, I. Well, yes, but uh, it was more. It was not specifically floristry. I wanted to do a. a um, I wanted to do a creative craftsmanship. That's what I wanted, and so I wanted to be a, a goldsmith, but that didn't work out, and oh. I became a florist. So, how long? Floristry history. I started learning forestry in 2009, so 19 years, 20 years. Oh, you're so old. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. Uh, how about this day? You told already. Hmm. You told already. You this day. What do you do? Uh, last year or this year? Well, we are busy. Very busy. We are traveling together a lot, which is nice. And uh, we are teaching um, at least three times a year in China, uh, Korea, and for the Flower Art Academy in Germany and, and all over Europe. And uh, yeah, we, we have a few contractors, and um, we are close to Klaus Wagner, so we help him with some projects in Berlin. Um, and uh, this and that. I'm doing weddings as well. Weddings, right? Yeah, I'm having a wedding business. I'm having an exhibition on 100 square meters, all of bridal floristry. Very busy, very busy day. So, and then, do you have any special person to respect or the influence to both of you, one by one? Of course, Peter. <laughs> I mean, I did master school at Peter Asman. I think he's a he's a name also all over Asia. But actually, the one who most influenced me, who always supported me and ever believed in me, was Petra. And she, she's not only friend; she's family. She's teacher. Her full name is Petra Konrad. Ah, how about you, Yoga? Well, I have uh, a few people in my life. I had very good teachers yeah. um, that I still look up to. The first one is my my design teacher in school. Although he only teach me theoretical design. Uh, but he is still somebody I uh, I quote when, when I explain me. <laughs> so there's Mr. Tsitsa, uh, then uh, my master during apprenticeship, Joachim uh, Kiefer, uh, Klaus Wagner, Gregor Lersch, 
Max van der Sloes is always somebody who is sometimes <laughs> mentioned by me because he had, a, when I was very young, being an apprentice, uh, I visited a show and he he had an impact on me. So, yeah, well, if you could. Yeah, he will love to. Uh, we have to tell him next time yeah, again. Yeah, we have to tell him again. <laughs> So without cars, what do you do the normal day, ordinary day? Do you have a hobby? Actually, be, before I was self-employed, I had three horses. I was riding. I live in the very countryside. I come from an area, we are living in a village with only 800 people there before we moved to Berlin. And there I had the horses and I was riding every day. Wow. Every day? Every day, every day, at least three hours. <gasps> How about you? You, you can also? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then when... She even was German master in pedestrian I, sports. Yeah. I was I was German champion in pedestrian oh. sports. Oh my god! For the... Yeah! <gasps> <laughs> so yeah, how about but, you? But, but um, maybe you tell about it. Since we moved to Berlin, um, friends are taking care of my horses and we have a common hobby. That's clubbing. <laughs> you want to tell something about that? Yeah, well, Berlin is quite famous for its nightlife, so we enjoy that. And uh, other than that, I, uh, I go rock climbing every once in a while when I find the time. Um, and of course, there's my son. I take care of my son whenever I have the time, and I, he's go, he's going rock climbing with me. Actually, I, we do that quite a lot, and um, yeah, some sports. And I, I have a record player, so that consumes some time. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. do, do you have any of the together to join some kind of hobby? No. Yeah, that's the clubbing thing. Clubbing. Going to yeah. dance. Ah, uh, dancing. <laughs> yeah, go dancing. Both of us together. Different kind of the. The music. I just told you it's the electronic music we love. <laughs> <Just different. laughs> okay, I see. So, this is the if you maybe you have this is the yogurt. This is the Dominic. We have the strong point, different from others. What is that? This is Dominic. Do you want to tell what it's me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should tell, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should tell what's what's yeah, yeah, her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or well, delicacy, I would say. That's definitely her, yeah. Delicacy yeah, in her see. designs, using small things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's her. Yeah, detail and less well. Yeah. How about the yoga? I think. <laughs> I think you're always, always consequent, always respectful towards uh, material. You always defend your idea and. I really, really love how respectful he handles flowers, how he makes flowers communicate with each other and always, whenever Jürgen is doing something, his arrangements are telling a story and that's what I love about him. Actually, I knew his arrangements before I knew him. <laughs> with your details for the flowers and no matter if it's a hard work or if it's work that, that takes a lot of time, if you do it with the right piece of passion, you can become whatever you want. Uh, well, my advice would be uh, straight, tr uh, stay true to your generation. So every generation is different and trying new things and I, I really love to see new things coming up, so there's the drive and all of that. Keep that and, and, and cherish that. And uh, the other thing is, um, well, yeah, be passionate about what you do and uh, don't let yourself be consumed with too many influences at once. Yes. Try to concentrate. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, yes. Very important. Yes. <laughs> and then, what is your best? Happy moment in your horror work in your life. Well, not, our in, not in your daily life. <laughs> yeah, our, our and, uh, wedding. In a daily life. In a daily, daily life. You, you can answer two two ways: daily <laughs> life and the horror life. So, yeah. Well, uh, my my happy moment in, in daily life is of course uh, having a son and a, a lovely wife, and. Um, 
that's that's what's what's keeping me going and uh, what's keeping me confident here. And in, in floral life, when it's about flowers, it's the it's the, it's the small things in being a creative uh, uh, craftsman or designer or whatever you mean. Um, it's having something here in your head and then seeing it develop on the table and all with with these two strange things. That's that's amazing to me, and I like that. Yeah, and daily life is of course. Being healthy, having sometimes, even though if it's just some days, having sometimes days without any responsibility and just enjoying life, just doing nothing sometimes, it's really important. No speaking, no hearing anybody, no seeing anybody, just just me or just the two of us. That makes me pretty joyful. But as 90% of our life is the floral life, which actually gives me the most joyful time. It's of course our wedding. Is it yeah, for you as well? This one moment. <laughs> this one moment. It was our wedding and it was it was not only the two of us what of course what is the most important but um, also all the friends, all all our family, the florist colleagues being together, having a great time together. That was one of the most happiest moments of I see. Wow. And then um, what is your the favorite the colors and flowers, one by one. Oh, you have? Um, I, I think every florist would respond. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love all flowers, but <laughs> I, I love the small and the tiny flowers I love most. I love light colors, um, color schemes, color combinations with as many flowers as possible, but in a nice fade over. So. The flowers, the smaller, the better. Yeah. How about your one? Um, my favorite color is green, and my favorite flower is fritillaria. Oh, fritillaria. Fritillaria. Yeah. Fritillary. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I remember the few years ago on the stage, we have a demonstration. Yeah. You can use that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I did. <laughs> okay. And then, if you have some very difficult moment, the floral life. You don't want to get this distress about the floral life if you have. If you have, and what, when is that? And how do you recover that? In a difficult moment. Uh, in a difficult moment, which would be maybe um, having an angry customer or, or being not satisfied with me and my work, with, with my performance, um, that are always difficult moments for me and uh, to recover from those it's uh, yeah it's you have to get when you fall from bike you have to get on the bike again immediately because otherwise you grow fearful of riding a bike so I just keep on going and try my best. Ride the bike? Yeah as a, as a metaphor. <laughs> How about you? Yeah as it's you and as we're in private I think I can tell you and I don't need to feel ashamed but ashamed of it's the German championship actually. <laughs> because when you do a mistake or when you do such a big effort in a project because you really want something or you're really up for something and then you do a big mistake, that's quite disappointing. But anyway, my teachers told me just go ahead, just raise your head, <laughs> get on the bike and just be yourself. And never forget about it. Don't let let yourself be influenced by other people. Just continue what you like. But the same answers from the, the another the designer. Yeah. She's, what is your very difficult moment when I asked her? She's maybe two years ago the, the Dutch championship. Uh -huh. The very small point she lose and the second second place. The time she's so angry she doesn't want to make flower more. But and after that, two years later she got the, the first prize. And uh, I totally understand what the situation. <laughs> Okay, and then please let me uh, say uh, what is the flower design? The flower design is that kind. Only one word? Only one word and the explanation why is that? Flower design is passion. Passion? I think many flowers say this, but it's true. You need you need passion. You need to work hard. You need to sleep only a few hours. You, yeah. But in the end, you're even doing better than Santa Claus because we're so so, yeah. 
Yeah. One word. So, so, no, and, and I had to, I had to yeah, explain yeah, yeah. it. I had to explain yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> Santa Claus only makes people happy in December. And we florists, we make people happy all the year. We, yeah, we, we, we are together with people from, from their birth until their wedding, until they die. And still, we are always together with the people. We always join them. And even though it, it's a funeral, because that's actually the last thing you can do, it makes people happy. Oh, if you saw the flower design, is the Santa Claus present for the year. Okay, or the plus the passion. Yeah. Okay, how about the yoga? Uh, floral design for me is um, uh, ah, I had such a nice word. <laughs> Which one was it? <laughs> awareness, I think. Awareness, uh, awareness, and and concentration. Yeah. Um, just because I think that it is uh, good for every detail of a design if you are really aware of what you're doing, if, uh, and if you're if you're conscious about it. Um, and of course, dedication. You have to, you have to be in it to do it. Yeah. That's wow, so very special, very, oh, very professional. And then, what do you think about competition? Please tell me, tell us to the audience yourself. <laughs> what I think about the competition. The competition. Yeah. What do you think about in the general, competition? In general. In general, I think um, every competition is is a win. I mean, <laughs> that's a. Uh, uh, a silly thing to say maybe, but um, the really most worthyful thing about a competition is the network that you get, getting in touch with so many, with so many people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean the same, sharing experiences, um, starting new challenges, or um, think about a topic, do your own design and show people what you love. I think that's what I like best about competition. It's not the pedestal that I need, but it's just being together with nice people and sharing a nice time. Okay. And this is my last question. This year is our fifth anniversary. Congratulations to us. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us when we got to know you, I was I was still a very very young florist when I got to know you, and I first you know I remember you when you gave me this beautiful calendar with paintings, and I still have this calendar because I like these tokens, and I just remember this funny Korean girl <laughs> always up to anyone. You, you don't you don't judge people. Yeah. You just you just like everybody, no matter if he's famous or not. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I think about you, so I wish you all the best and all the success I can ever give to you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, she's, she's true. You are, I mean, when we get in touch with Leap, then, then we get in touch with you, and uh, you are the, the, the magazine. And uh, so, to you and to the company... Because uh, most of you are so beautiful, you smile. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, all the best to uh, a lot of time to come <laughs> and uh, congratulations. Okay, thank you.